Welcome back to Stock Talk Trades. This is one setup that I'm looking at for a potential swing trade if the setup does happen within the next few weeks. We're look, we're talking about Neo. I absolutely love Neo, and you know we've been absolutely on the run since May, the mid May, peaked out at around uh, 54, but we're coming off of from 30. So we did need a small pullback, and again, this is a pretty large, hefty pullback, but it is small compared to what's happening, and we need to make a higher low i mean we really haven't like maybe maybe right here but that wasn't a really low point that we want and i i believe that we are going to at around 39. if we break for if we break this double bottom which i don't think it's it's not the most clear double bottom because since the, this is the first point and then we have one two three four and then the double bottom what i usually like to do is i usually like to wait at least six to seven candles in between the double bottom when i'm swing trading in order for it, me to be confident that it is like have has the potential to continue going up we have increasing volume up yesterday so i wouldn't be surprised if today we did break that level um let's go ahead and zoom in on five days and we had a double bottom right at 42.70 and we did uh break it i mean so if we actually break this low around 4260 4267 42 uh, if we break that today then i do see us coming down much lower and it's not super super crazy but again this is also giving us a good entry point and what also i paired this with is this gap strategy so back in on june 1st this it gapped up and we haven't filled it yet and i'm expecting us to fill that so when we come down we want to and also this would also act as we have some support here we have touch here touch here zones touch 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 we have a good amount of support at this level at 3877 so i wouldn't be surprised if we if we could catch this move to the upside really looking forward looking for the move up to 55 or even potentially 67 in the future if you want to get in on a long-term hold a long-term play this would be this would be the way to do it um, the RSI, that would be a great opportunity for, to catch it when the RSI is low and at its lower point. Um, what we want, ideally, we want to catch it when it's oversold, and then we could. And it would also make a higher low. And I bet you, if we use Fibonacci retracements, that it would be right in the OTE zone. That's right in the OTE zone, optimal trade entry zone. That's what that's what this zone is called right here, from sixty one point eight to seventy eight point six. So, with that with all of those indications that it could pull back and if it does with decreasing volume to the downside maybe consolidation and then we could potentially catch the reversal that would be my that would be a strategy that i'm looking at within the next few weeks or a setup that i'm looking for and you know what i don't like is that we are still below um we are still above the 15 20 uh 50 and 200 sma which isn't amazing because again then we're going to hit our heads on the 200 sma which is which is a lot but we could also just bounce off this play like bounce off the 200 i wouldn't be surprised if we did have a green day today potentially coming up i wouldn't i don't see us making a new high from yesterday um yeah the new high from yesterday is 45 so i, would, I wouldn't be surprised if we came up maybe to uh 44 um 44 13 44 uh, 50 somewhere in that area i wouldn't be surprised one bit but you know anything can happen you have to have a really good trade plan and everything that you want to do anyways thank you so much and if you guys do take this trade let me know um again i'm not this is not a signal i'm not trying to send this out to you guys but this is something that i'm watching personally and looking for an entry